This video is on the anatomy of the DuPont connector. There may be a non-brand specific name for this kind of connector, but I don't know what it is. These are very common for carrying signal wires on robotics projects, and they are not common for carrying power. It's usually not a good idea because they are usually 22 gauge, which cannot carry very much current. The crimp connectors look like this. The proper crimper looks like this. For these connectors, you're gonna use the very front die right here. And you'll see that it has a shelf. It has two sections in the die. Let's break down the connector. There's section A, B, and C. Section A has the big arms. The big arms is gonna grab the insulation. Section B has the small arms. The small arms fall into the part of the die that's got a smaller compression and it'll close tighter. And that section B is gonna grab the conductor. Section C needs to be clear because section C is the part where the connector does the mating once it's assembled. Big arms, little arms, empty space. And approximately two millimeters is what you need for A, four for B, and four millimeters for section C. So essentially you need to strip off four millimeters. The way that I advise the stripping is not to use a tool like this. Most strippers that you just find lying around do not go down to 22 gauge. So don't use this, you'll mess it up. Since this wire is stranded and so small, you can't afford to lose any of the strands. This is a nice stripper that I like. You can strip more wire than you need and then cut it back with a pair of dikes. At this time, I want to leave about four millimeters. And then gently twist it to make sure they don't spread apart when you put it into the crimper. This is the part you won't be able to see very well. I'm going to hang the big arms on the shelf that separates the front part of the die and the back part of the die. The label on my crimper is up and my connector is hanging down once the wings are hooked on that area. Then I close this just enough to hold it steady and I make sure that I have space to put my wire. I'm going to feed the wire in just enough that I think two millimeters is going to be grabbed by the big arms. Then I'm going to check on the back side, make sure that I'm not about to crush section C. Go ahead and squeeze all the way and release. And then you should have insulation in the front, conductor in the middle, and nothing in the back.